All right, the other important thing we want to look at besides epoxy is um, our release agents that we use on our molds. Some molds, obviously, if it's foam or whatever, don't require necessarily, if you want to save the foam, any sort of release agent, but um, most of our molds do require. So first, I'll talk about the wax. This is just a simple mold release wax. I believe it's, it's called Pardol Paste Number 2. Very basic, nothing fancy. Uh, you basically buff it on and buff it off. Do that maybe two or three times if it's a new mold and call it good. Uh, the other stuff we use is a PVA release film. Now what this is, is it puts like a really thin film basically um, on your mold. And we don't often use this stuff um, unless we really want to make sure that it doesn't get stuck to the mold. And what we'll do is we'll combine it with this, we'll put a couple layers of wax down and then we'll put a PVA over it. And notice this is a liquid. So there's a couple ways you can apply it. Usually we just use a paintbrush and brush it on. It's like a self-leveling. So you'll see the brush lines, but then they'll kind of level out over time as this stuff dries, which only takes about five minutes because it's out of the base. Um, you can use like a foam rolling brush, brush it on, or roll it on rather. And you can also spray it on using just a spray bottle. Um, yep, so that's about it for the releases. We'll sh I'll show you uh, how to wax and mold properly uh, in a future video. Uh, we're not really going to use this stuff, I just thought I'd introduce it.